Here's the thing, Sarah. We kind of alluded to it already. Ricky People Starks. Ricky okay, Starks. You can just. You know what? How about you just talk? I guess it's, it seems like you just right away just double guns, just ready to go. It's that's the i mean i don't know you would have better insight about like other talent and aw who might go but i really do think that it's ricky starks it's only a matter of time he's not been on tv he's not injured um he's expressed his frustrations in his own way like not attacking the company obviously because he's still employed um but he's best buddies with cody rhodes cody's got quite a bit of pull you know he could get stuff done if he wanted ricky there um so I think it's just a matter of time. It's just I don't know the details of Ricky's contract. I don't know when it's up or when it's rumored to be up or whatever. So I don't know if it's like, oh, yeah, it could happen next month or it's six months or three years. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know that. Uh, but I do think it's been a matter of time basically since Cody came back. It's like you just knew it was going to because he's name dropped him before, like multiple times over the past few years. So in interviews and whatnot, um, yeah. And now that he's not being used on television, it feels like, oh, okay. It could be sooner rather than later. I think he's going to get his release granted. Like, he's going to... I'm, sh I'm shocked he hasn't even asked for it yet. Well, because I think there's, like... <sighs> Based off of what I when I saw the clip of him talking about it, I think that he's trying to be a team player and like be understanding of how the business ebbs and flows. And sometimes you're just not needed, or sometimes, uh, you know, you were hot for this, but now you're kind of not, and they don't need you, or you're just you don't make sense right now. And so I think that there's kind of like a way to try and balance that, and it feels like that's what he's trying to do because you don't want to just demand your request, or I'm sorry, demand your release because you're not being used on TV for a couple, you know, like a month or something. Like you don't want to do it yeah, too prematurely. So I, yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they get to a where he gets to a point where he's like, all right they say they have nothing for me like why am i here like thanks for the check but like if you're not going to use me i i don't want to be on the sideline doing nothing there's a reason i'm a professional wrestler like let me go do that so ricky stark oh. wardlow's a great one Ma wardlow. malachi, no, malachi black needs to stay buddy House murphy black is too hot buddy yeah murphy, buddy I'm no not I don't think he that's happening. Hook, I don't think so either. I don't think there's I, a I don't I, I don't think there's I a spot for Hook. Hook. No, in NXT, yes. No, absolutely not. No. Um Buddy what's Murphy would be center? no. Buddy Murphy would be great, but I think that um he's thriving. I mean, like he's doing what he likes, he's having fun. I mean, even Rhea has talked about it. Like he's loving what he's doing with AEW. So um I mean, I think if whatever he's doing ends up kind of like sizzling out or something, then maybe. Um, but it would be a little tricky because of everything that we know. Like, there's certain people that it makes it tricky. Like, if Buddy came in to WWE, first yeah. of all, I'm sure he wouldn't want to be known as Buddy anymore because that's just ridiculous. Um, but they would have to try and keep him separate from Rhea also, which I think might be a little um, tricky. It's kind of hard right now. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, and it would be he difficult. Made out with Dom's sister already. Yes. And had a thing with her. So like, it's just, it's a weird shit going it, it, on. That, that was a Vince thing. He did not want to do uh, that. Yeah, of course so, it was. Like, yeah. would love to see Malachi, Alistair, whatever you want to call him, uh, Black and Buddy Murphy in WWE. However, uh, they are so good in the House of Black. The House of Black is one of the coolest trios in AEW right now. They don't need to be the trio's champions to, for you to know that they are the best trio. Like they're just so dominant. the The match was with Cope, um, you know that that was like a, a really good match, and the way they did the storytelling of you thought they were going to turn but didn't. They, that doesn't fit right now in WWE to the level that they're doing it, and they're doing it really well. So don't take them out. But Wardlow would be sick. Uh, I I would love to see Wardlow. Uh, but yeah, yeah, Hook's booking has been awful. I think of some others off the top of my head that like that that would really would benefit. Um, and well, before and I get I, into the fantasy element of this, because I think that it's mostly AEW. I think now that we have like we know that there's probably going to be a TNA partnership. Uh, and there's a lot of 
positivity with TNA right now. I feel like you can't really pick like, okay, who in TNA is going to go to WWE? You know, it's not as divisive as it used to be. Um, and TNA is thriving in their own right. It's not, you know, from 20, 2008 AEW. I don't mean that, but like, uh, it's harder to pick there because I feel like most of the people who are working for TNA are happy. They're not unhappy with where they're at and what they're doing. It's more so who in WWE is unhappy or not being used jumping ship and, and to AEW and vice versa. What's the most re recent releases from WWE? Uh, well, Cameron like, Grimes, I don't see. Jinder going to Mahal. AEW. No, I don't think he'd go to AEW. I don't think there's not really been any like big, big names from WWE. It's like, it's just been those types. Like most of the other ones, I was like, who, you know, like I, I don't even know who that is. A lot of them were NXT people who were either like never used or they were a part of the, that new program, you know, to try and like find athletes and turn them into wrestlers or whatever. Those were a lot of the ones who were released. That's why there were so many names. Yeah. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, it's like Cameron Grimes and, and Jinder Mahal were like the headliners of the most recent releases. So. Give me Keith Lee. I want to see Keith Lee back in WWE so bad. A lot of his clips are coming up on my Twitter. And holy shit, this man needs to have a belt strapped to him. What happened to him in AEW, rocket. though? Like they he's were not, he's hurt technically. Oh. He's got an injury. But even before that, like it was just mid. Uh, well, uh, swerve in our, swerve in our glory was his peak to me, mm -hmm. and it's just I want that's, more. That's another ironic situation. I feel like with AEW because they were like, "Oh yeah, they didn't use you right way when they brought you to the main roster," and you knew that they weren't going to use him the right way once he moved from NXT to the main roster because you knew Vince is not going to like a giant like heavier guy like they're mm. he's not gonna like him no he's matter athletic, how much the, he doesn't know what to do with it yeah but it's like he doesn't he's not into it that's just not a vince guy mm -hmm. so it's like you knew that was going to happen but then he like went over to aew and then it was like within a month he like wasn't doing anything so it's like okay so what are you proving exactly <laughs> like what how are you using him any better than what he was doing in wwe like exactly i think that again it just is a matter of if they bring these types of people back like we were saying like a buddy murphy or an alistair black like if those guys came back you would want to make sure that they were actually going to be used in the correct way and not have the same fate that they did the first time 